Greetings everyone, I am Renatosk and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. I I don't wanna leave this main menu. I, I love the main menu music. <laughs> It's very beautiful, yet sad at the same time. But, let's return to where we were. I forget. Oh uh, yeah, we were heading to hunt some guy. Someone in the inn. It would seem. Question. I'm assuming I just leave her there. She'll just pop up eventually. It's like, yeah, I can see what you're doing because I got bored. So yeah, I right. could have helped. It's like, no, no. That's bothering me. I know that's Magilu, is it? But... That's actually bothering me, that that's there. Like, what am I supposed to do? What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports Flamestone and Sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of Flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Well, we do another day. Praise be to the Abbey of the Lord of the Rings. Keelhaul to anyone else who says otherwise, I'm assuming. bothers me and I don't like it. God. Magilu's making me run all the way back. Might be a short episode. I'm recording this actually pretty late. Pretty late. Pretty late. I don't care. Oh, that's a different. Right. 
That's why. Hello. No one else wants to talk. Welcome. Hold up there, isn't it? Come on in and rest up for a while, won't you? Yeah, I got the money. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but... Come to think of it, this is just him being him. It would seem so. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me, either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame, then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. Wait until I pull out the good stuff. Oh, you can switch out. Pay attention, you idiot.
better be ready. Come on, really? Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. Time is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no, I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know, I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what princessias signify? Betrayal. Oh? That's important. I see a village. Let's go ask around. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... 
everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Perfect my ass. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? Mercenary work. Nothing. We really heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Who the hell are you? Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Ooh, apples. Got it. That's a promise. Are they honey crisp? A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Mm. Huh? It's like cursed. We learned what through. we need to. Uh, Let's look for that cave. Food turns to ash in our mouths. Water just. That dissipates. woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. Don't tell anyone about the lizard demon in the cave. Make you promise with apples on top, okay? Sure, I'm gonna go tell the whole city now. When we go to Helavis, we can't tell anyone we're from this village or they'll persecute us. Alright. Look at that. No fire for you. The villagers to sell sulfur taken from the cave up north. Now the trade routes led to Helavis instead. So we don't have much industry anymore. All we can really do is make charcoal and raise r yaks. That's, That's one fine yak you've got there. <gasps> what an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <coughs> that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Burp. That face. Uh, 
Maybe a face, so yeah, I could love. Or a herder. I stole medicine from my sick child. What parent wouldn't, with a child writhing in pain on death's door? Is that really a crime worth banishment? <laughs> I'm still never gonna get used to that, but okay. I guess they're all universally 15 points per... Chest, but I want to know how many there are in the game. It's probably something I'll look up later after you first play through. Don't want to talk to you yet because you're probably going to activate something. I planned out a tar mining operation in the hollow with a buddy of mine. Worked on it for eight years. Well, Lady Teresa nicks that good. Said it was unnecessary, and that was that. Who is the Abbey to be butting in on a free man's affairs? It's a disgrace. I know it's frustrating, but it's better to keep quiet. You know how they are about order and all. Yeah. Order above all, yada yada yada, and all that bullcrap. No freedom. So the weapons dealer sells gels. Okay. Should probably equip stuff. <laughs> Forget it. I've given up on him. But this village... We built it with our own sweat. I won't give it to the Abbey, no matter what they say. That dial is a wretch of a son, though. He ran off to make a fortune trading. What did he end up? A murderer. Still, his poor old man is convinced it's just a matter of time before he comes back. Mm. That Eleanor is a bit of an odd exorcist. We're opposed to the Abbey here, and yet she comes and asks us all these super serious questions. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but she won't live long if she doesn't smarten up. Yeah. This village seems much more run down than Helleviz was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. 
You may be a stranger, but I won't treat you badly because of it. That make me no better than the Abbey. Hmm. <laughs> my cat, one of my cats is looking at me all beady eyed with fat pupils just like, let me in the room, I want to be with you. Pawing at the window too, it's hilarious. Wait! My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up! It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cooking. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Ah, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full, either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm... sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am. This gate leads to the Hadlow Hollow, system of caverns in the wetlands. I don't know what your business is out there, but it's no place for humans these days, I tell you. I won't stop you, but no one's going to rescue you if you don't come back. I'll bring you along with me just because... Okay, so... Uh... What the hell? Oh, okay, whoa. Is this the, um... Yep, okay. How do I use the sorcerer's rings? I feel like that's... Oh, I see. Start of the game had something similar, so. Okay. 
Tavern in the Northern March. What the hell are these things? I see. Am I out of their range, or is their AI just, like, staying unprovoked? Or, are you not gonna move? Because either way, that's fine by me. You just stay there. Oh, never. Oh, now you're moving. Come on. On to battle! See this? Deception! Just your buddy left, but first we must venture forth and see what there is to see around here. You never know. I am slightly worried for Tales of Arised, in all honesty, as I've heard he got rid of the Mystic Arts, but that could just be random troubles in the back of people's heads. Additionally, it got rid of the, um... Ugh. What's that smell? Oil? Yeah, oil. Additionally, apparently they got rid of the, um, I like that lighting in the back. Um, no, they got rid of the post-battle, um, dialogue. And just has me worried because usually that's a thing in these games. They're kind of staples. I'm just hoping they don't go as far to remove the skits because... That's part of the franchise's charm in my eyes, at least. The skits, the post-battle dialogue, the, the, um, the Mystic Arts as well, some of the comedic relief, which there's bound to be that, but I just hope they keep Tails, Tails. Mainly, at least. I mean, the only style of these games I've ever known is kind of pretty much really just Symphonia, but. Um, to see this and how the franchise has evolved, I mean, it's amazing, but. With its newest release coming very soon in September. Just has me a little worried to not see that, but I don't know. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Hey, there we go. Okay. No sorcerer's ring or anything needed. Nice. Why are you... Is this gonna... Okay. I'm assuming there's gonna be an option for us to just fly over it eventually. It's like, alright. Twenty-five. Oh, you guys are... monsters. Rose Corsage. I think I've seen enough. Um, hmm. All right, let's go. Am I not near the? going to be a nuisance. 
So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. An octopus? Ew. I don't like that little gurgling sound it makes. strange now it doesn't show um doesn't show how much xp you have left until you level up fashion oh oh i see oh i don't like that at all That's kind of cute. Well, yeah, that's kind of cute. It's the... Yeah, it's the village in the beginning. Oh, that's cool. Now I see. Okay. Yeah, because she wouldn't have anything else to wear. Three years, though. Wow. about Rokuru? What do you have, buddy? Oh, I don't want to see your, um, stats. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, that clips through the hair, though. Oh, that's better. Whoa, buddy! Oh, your eye. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. Let us continue. Okay, so we have two options. Let's go... never mind. Oh, well, yeah. Probably move it. Why don't I? You know what they say. Falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I... don't think that's quite how the saying goes. I've never heard that saying, but okay. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. I'm going to jump. Do a flip. That doesn't... Oh no, oh no. So wait, where does that lead then? Oh no, I'm missing out on things and I don't like it. a mask. I want to fight you. Are you like a little mini boss, like an optional enemy, or a forward killer? <laughs> Hold up! 
time oh my god that's cool battle time play time it's pretty neat all right yeah tar all right um Go down here then. You're a fine swordsman. Uh, not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... 
Hag, am I right? What? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. Hmm. Is that a reference to, like, Blair Witch or something? What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. I feel like that blade's literally his life now. And again, it could just be like a ceremonial thing where it's like, yeah... It's not really something I use, just mainly for show and then something. It's like, yeah, this is my clan sword or whatever, my house. And so now it belongs to me or whatever, it's like, okay. I have no idea though, I want to know. Alright. I want to go down here. But, uh... Here's hoping. So, we're not gonna go down there just yet, then, because th now we know where this leads. Because I want to explore down here. A lot of people who've played Tales games may give me some flack. One, fully restores HP on use. I did not know that. Two, mainly, I'm playing this game single player all the time. Throughout my playthrough, you will never see anyone else play this game with me. And, according to some people, sure, this is a party game, it may be fun with more people, but one, this is on Steam, on computer. I don't even know if you can um, have other computer players do um, co-op with you, considering it's more couch co-op. I don't even know if couch co-op is still a thing in this game. I know it's not going to be in a rise, and that saddens me, but, um, one thing I was taught is, since you're just doing this by yourself, just give all of it to the character you play as.
Don't at me. That's how I learned. And honestly, I'm used to it. I don't want to change that. Let me play the game how I want to play it. Everyone's got their own little style. What the hell? I hit the jackpot. Alright. It's a gold chest. Shadow daggers. Who does that belong to? Huh? Not a uh, velvet, that's for sure. You? That's slightly better attack, but, you know, amber daggers do... Oh, well for both. It's just, uh... Take it honestly. Okay, that was this. Good thing I went here. See it, chumps. up here, and uh, yeah, we can continue on with the story. back on track. I'm also getting some gears of war, but Let's fight one of these. Here I come! You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste... Hmm. You said Eutherians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. 
The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. <laughs> now that you're a demon, huh? I want to know how he became a demon just sort of happened, or... It's probably why it's, uh, he doesn't talk much about it. about to get um, Eleanor on the party too because I feel like she's gonna be the healer if Maggie Lou isn't an exorcist did he slip and fall no he was thrown in <laughs> Down, did you? It seems that way. Deception. You little deception. Hold up. Deception. Hold up! 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 Hold up!
It's not you in my way! Hey, you see this? I won't die yet. Not until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Makes of sense. course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess... even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. Nice. But... why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little recall potion. Yeah, this game's giving me a lot of these little sword things, so... Probably gonna come across a few that's like, yeah, it's a hundred. It's like, oh. Okay, fine. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. There's no becoming human again. So I might as well live like a monster. I'll make them pay for my tail. You'll see. Yeah. I don't think I will. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. is how many monsters are on the field, which, sure, it's cool, but, I mean, yeah, you can have, like, 20, 30 monsters wandering around in different lands of the map, but... It has its drawbacks. Especially later in the game, when you just...
blood pressure is going And towards the end of these games, I always tend to go avoid fighting monsters. Just for the sake of, like, yeah, I'm going to get there. So I'm going to get there and see what's left. Which, everyone will want to fight like, absolutely everything, so that they can have as much XP or whatever, as much money. But, eventually it just gets tiresome, and for the really determined completions, I mean, sure, but like, in your first playthrough, there's no way in hell you're gonna want to do that. Especially if you don't have the times times two times two. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helavis, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Kilaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm. Mount Kilaraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. Was the fire nation gonna attack or something? I mean, snow off the roof is a pain in the what happens. I can tell you, you don't see, you don't see snow too much. Getting up on the roof is fine, but take care you don't slip and fall once you're up there. This is Dial's tail. Did you... did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like. But I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. It's about time. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Th hey! You don't need to be so pushy! That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! Okay. 
And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. I'm not gonna say a lot of value. Oh, oh, I do need some value. You want me to hold your hand? Alright, I guess we're just gonna keep her there. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Pirates... <laughs> Well then, let's move on. 
tree. Dude, I want to know how to get it. That would be cool. Since there's like stuff that we can't get to for now. Hey, Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Uh -huh. Huh? What are you talking about? How Remember bad. the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah, I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Okay, but like, the thing is... She effectively saps the demon blight from them as if nothing ever happened. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Crap. Oh, Imperian Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. Let's see your face. This Come frail on. flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? <laughs> a demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. How did none of your hair burn An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mugilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him! <laughs> wow.
stop there. If you like what you see, everyone, please like and comment the video. Subscribing is your choice, but I would greatly appreciate it if you do so. If you do subscribe, then all that I ask is that you hit the notification button next to it. I am Ratatoss, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Stay tuned. There shall be more to come.